my life today. Restore the old path, August the eighth. Saved to serve, and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. Isaiah chapter fifty-eight, verse twelve. The work specified in these words is the work God requires His people to do. It is the work of God's own appointment. With the work of advocating the commandments of God and repairing the breach that has been made in the law of God, we are to mingle compassion for suffering humanity. We are to show supreme love to God. We are to exalt His memorial, which has been trodden down by unholy feet, and with this we are to manifest mercy, benevolence. And the tenderest pity for the fallen race. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. As a people, we must take hold of this work. Love revealed for suffering humanity gives significance and power to the truth. The evangelization of the world is the work that God has given to those who go forth in His name. They are to be co-laborers with Christ. Revealing to those ready to perish His tender, pitying love, God calls for thousands to work for Him, not by preaching to those who know the truth, going over and over the same ground, but by warning those who have never heard the last message of mercy. Work with a heart filled with an earnest longing for souls. Do medical missionary work. Thus, you will gain access to the hearts of the people. The way will be prepared for more decided proclamation of the truth. You will find that relieving their physical suffering gives you opportunity to minister to their spiritual needs. The Lord will give you success in this work, for the gospel is the power of God unto salvation when it is interwoven with the practical life. When it is lived and practiced, the union of Christ-like work for the body and Christ-like work for the soul is the true interpretation of the gospel.